since Britney Spears has been out from under the conservatorship, in fact, really since the day she spoke in court last summer, her father has had very little to say. A summer ago, not yeah. last summer, the summer before. 2021, right. Her father, Jamie, has had very little to say in his own defense, even as the Free Britney, uh, the Free Britney campaign and all her fans were roasting him and calling him all sorts of things, um, saying that he had, you know, damaged his daughter uh, with this conservatorship. Well, he is now speaking out uh, for the first time, saying a few things about that conservatorship and defending the fact that it was absolutely necessary. Yeah, I mean, he's, he says that he saved her life and she'd be dead if he hadn't stepped in. And I think, I mean, knowing what we know and kind of how we've covered this through the years, I, I believe that to be true, too. And I know that Britney fans were upset and maybe thought that uh, he was involved too long, and I think the same can be true. Uh, but in the beginning stages, he absolutely saved her life. Yeah, I uh, couldn't agree more. Um, whatever, you, whatever happened, you know, in the middle and end of the conservatorship, um, Jamie Spears told us early on, this is before it got established, that his great worry every day was getting a call from the coroner. We were covering Brittany when all of this was going on, when she was strapped to a gurney, taken to the hospital, 5150 twice. Um, to say that Jamie was irrelevant to all of this or that he was somehow getting in the way of her freedom she wouldn't be alive today. Now, he also, uh, in this interview with Daily Mail, said that um, that this conservatorship allowed Britney to maintain any relationship whatsoever with her kids. She had been stripped of custody at the time, was required by the family law judge to take random drug tests, and had lost custody of her kids after the conservatorship started. And again, you know, like Brad just said, both things can be true. He saved her life and the conservatorship lasted too long. Both things could be true. But at the beginning, um, she regained 50-50 custody after the conservatorship was in place and also became financially solvent because that was an issue too. Yeah. So, you know, he's got a story now, to tell. Whether, whether it lasted too long, that was the one question where he said, look, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Look at, look at how her life, how she's leading her life now. I think that's his way of saying it was necessary as long as it was there, but he wouldn't say. I, I think I think that's all right. Hello, what's up, man? It's Buddy Cannoli coming to you live from the Heights, Sacramento, California. And you know, I think what, what whatever her dad was doing was definitely in the best interest of her. It's like now everything's cool, but everybody's talking about her still, man. She's she definitely at the top of the list for everybody talking. Yeah, no, people are talking. Yeah, she definitely has not lost uh, her celebrity at all. Uh, you know. It's, People are still clamoring for, they want music from her, they want her to perform. So, boy, this is, and, and, the, and then the issue is, is this relationship with the family ever going to be repaired? Yeah. Jamie, uh, I don't know about that. And he said, by the way, he also mentioned something about Kevin Federline, uh, that he and Kevin Federline have reconnected, and they actually communicate. Um, he is not, it doesn't sound like Jamie and his grandchildren, uh, Brittany and Kevin's kids, have really reconnected, but he seems hopeful that that will happen. All right.